Hey guys, a bit of Gunpla news today. We are checking out all the new releases from Bandai. And first out of the gate is the Reborn 1100 Mark III Unit 8. Now, this is of course just a recolored version of the original Reborn 100 Mark III. But as you can see here from the recolor, it looks like a totally different mobile suit altogether. We are really digging this new recolor and we do think that the all red color scheme just looks so much better on the Mark III. We'll definitely be getting this and for you guys who have always been holding out on the Reborn 100, maybe this will be your first kit into this line. Go and check it out. So Bandai has also been releasing quite a few of GM units under the Master Grid line for the last few months. This time around, they decided to release the GM Dominance within the Premium Bandai series. So under Premium Bandai, you will get this GM Dominance, which is a bit different looking from the other GMs that we have seen. There aren't a lot of markings as you can see from the Bobo suit itself. There are no markings on the shoulder armor, there are no markings on the shield, so it does look kind of bland. Maybe this will stand out more for people who like to customize their kits. What we do like is how the beam saber actually comes up from the arm. So we thought that's quite cool. But other than that, it is quite a plain looking GM uh, for our taste. We probably will skip this. Now this next kit shouldn't come as a surprise given that there's already a master grade Zaku Mine layer in the market today and Bandai decides to release this in the real grade form. For those of you who have already managed to build the real grade Zaku series, you would have known that this is the exactly same mobile suit as what you have built before. The only difference is really the backpack and additional markings for the Zaku and a different color scheme. So. For those of you who already built the Zaku, you may not be very keen to rebuild this guy all over again. But we have to say that this color scheme is very interesting. It has that Desert Storm kind of a camo color scheme. And to be very frank, that backpack has so much going for it. We are quite intrigued by that as well. But should we really spend the additional money to rebuild the entire Zaku that we built before with no new inner mechanism or inner frame? That, that we're still thinking about that, we we'll probably will skip this, but the color scheme does look very cool though. Now, probably the most disappointing release for us is this premium Bandai Goof Flight Type in a HG UC format. Um, because when we look at this HG Goof Flight Type, versus the normal version that was released many 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 years ago as you can see from the box art here there really isn't a lot of difference in between the kit they are both exactly the same kit with just different color variation and of course from what we have seen so far the cockpit seems to be a clear part for the new premium bandai exclusive versus the old ones which is actually using a sticker um, for us we probably will skip this because we don't think it justifies the premium price to pay for a kit this size at 1144 scale with just a slight color variation because the kit looks still the same. So we'll probably be skipping this. My advice is just get the normal edition Go Flight Type and airbrush paint it the way you like it. And this is probably nothing new to you guys, but this is the perfect great Bandai Red Frame Kai. This is something that um, we'll be waiting for a long time. We're not sure what took Bandai so long to release this. Because I've always thought that the original Red Frame, Ka Red Frame was a bit bland. It only has a katana sword and a rifle. 
but with the red frame kai actually it has so much more going for it with the backpack the uh, additional katana so for us this looks to be a must have um, if you would like to get this we will probably advise to maybe um, hold on because we are very sure that Bandai will probably release a special color variation such as the pearl gloss or a clear parts for the perfect grade um, but we do have to say that this perfect grade that's coming out in June 2018 definitely does makes the reframe looks a lot more nasty and better looking other than the original reframe which just come with a katana and a beam rifle so that's all for our new releases for this month uh, do let us know which kit you guys are most excited about in the comment section below and thank you for watching